What up everybody? Mike the Lionheart Ryan here. Okay, cooking up my chili. I'm going to go ahead and give you a quick overview of the ingredients that I use. I'm actually sauteing the uh, peppers and onions right now. See how nice and pretty that is? Nice colorful little arrangement here. Saute it up for about five minutes or so. It starts until the onions start to turn a little golden brown. Then you should be ready to go. Over here I've got probably, I don't know, about eight ounces, 10 ounces of turkey. And then I've got two chicken sausage links. And then I've got my canned goods here. I've got the kidney beans. I've got the whole kernel corn. I've got the, the petite cut tomatoes. And this has got ingredients in it, um, like sweet onions and garlic, uh, roasted garlic. Um, I've also got the bushes seasoned recipe black beans. And then last but not least, I've got the diced tomatoes with green chilies. <clears throat> that all adds a little zest to, to your chili. And over here, I've got my um, spices. I've got the It's Delish garlic, uh, the granulated garlic, the chili powder, salt, and pepper, and that's all I use. Um, on the salt, I wouldn't go too heavy on. You don't want your chili to turn out salty. You can add a lot of garlic, a lot of chili powder, and you know just go go sparingly on the on the salt and pepper. Pepper tends to over overkill it, and salt tends to really make it taste bad when there's too much of it in there. Um, there is such a thing as too many herbs, too many uh, spices. Um, I do love a lot of garlic though, so garlic works out best because it blends real well with everything that you cook it with. Um, so then it goes in my crock pot over here, and I usually do it for about three to four hours on high. And the whole time that it's it's in there, the meat is just taking in all the juices, you know, all the spices, um, just all the flavors. And after about three to four hours, you know, you just take a scoop out, see how it tastes, and you can add a little extra um, spices, you know, add a little extra salt if you need be. Um, as well as the garlic powder or chili powder or whatever. Um, usually I throw in just what I think my own, uh, my, my own personal preference is enough. It may be different for you. Everybody's got a different palate. Um, you can usually eyeball it pretty good. So I don't have a teaspoon of this or a teaspoon of that or a tablespoon. I just, just shake it in there by feel. And, and then I taste it. And if I think I need to add something, I'll add it. Um, just the other day I did this recipe on Monday. I accidentally popped open the big side on the pep on the um, garlic, uh, the gar the granulated garlic, and I went to shake, and a bunch of it came out. You know what? It turned out perfect. You know, it's just just let it cook in with everything, and it blended in nicely. So, crock pots do wonder. I really love the crock pot. Um, make sure I don't burn this over here. I actually, kind of charred up a little bit of the onions, but. Um, crock pots are great. You set it, forget it. You throw your ingredients in there and uh, you let it, you just let it cook its way through. And you know, after you've cooked your meat and you and, and you got your already pre-cooked sausage and you saute your ingredients, honestly, it doesn't need to sit that long. But I, the, I like, I like it in the crock pot because you got three to four hours of it just sitting there and, and, and simmering and just sucking everything in. Uh, the meat tastes really good. Uh, everything just tastes great when you're done. So it's a magical wonder, in my opinion. Crock pots are great. So, yeah, I'm going to put all this together. And, uh, you know, it's about 4.20 my time. I'm in San Diego. So I should have it done by about 7.30, maybe 8 o'clock. And I'll be ready to uh, um, package it all up and have some stuff for tomorrow. So, anyways... All right, guys, have a great day. Um, hope you enjoy the recipe. Give it a shot. Love to get your feedback. Everybody have a great day. Take care. Later.